What's going on guys? Greg Bear here of Greg's Halfling Garden Channel. Today's video, super short one, just want to give you guys an update on the produce stand. I actually haven't even shown it this year besides when I built the thing. So it's pretty much peak of season right now, so it's loaded with tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, and other things right behind me over there. So with that being said, roll the intro. Here it is in all its glory, as you can see, loaded with tomatoes. I've probably sold at least 100 to 150 pounds of tomatoes this year. It's a very good year, even with the blight I'm having problems with, like I always do. Even though they're blight resistant plants, I'm still having a lot of problems with the blight. Uh, I did that in another video if you don't want to hear my spiel about that. So yeah, this is what I do here. I save any mushroom containers. I get and my mom also saves them for me so use those for my large packs of tomatoes and then I got a local agriculture supply store called Agway where I get these half pint containers they're like nine cents a piece so it's not a big deal sell these for a dollar large ones for two dollars and I sell these giant packs I think these are like 24 ounce mushroom containers sell these for five bucks this is my first day putting these out so none have sold yet but I do expect somebody to pick these up probably for canning or something. It's a pretty good deal. I would pick it up if I wasn't growing it myself. And down here, I found this really cool orange box. I don't know, it's probably from the 50s or 60s or something. Uh, I put my single tomatoes in them, sell them for 50 cents a piece, which people eat these things up because talking about at least half pound to one pound tomatoes for 50 cents. You cannot beat that anywhere. And got my zucchinis. Uh, video I did a couple weeks ago about the squash borers. Yeah, it's doing very well. The squash borers are pretty much tamed right now. They're not killing my plants. The BT injection into the stem works perfectly. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll definitely link it in the description below. And what else? We got cucumbers. I tried, it's called a double yield cucumber this year. Not a huge fan. Got a lot of yellow cucumbers. The plants look really unhealthy. Also, the company I ordered them from, uh, Rainier Seeds, has horrible reviews, so I think that's half the problem. So next year, I'm definitely just going to stick with my straight aids, market moors, and maybe Armanians next year. Simple stuff that I've grown in the past and works really good. And over here, um, I must have left some garlic bulbs in the ground because I got a lot of garlic this year. A lot of small, wimpy garlics, but people will definitely pick these up for 25 cents a piece. And coming up top... Uh, more from the garlic. These are bigger bulbs from the random weird garlic that grew. Saw these for a dollar. Um, got a random marigold pot left over and some mums. Uh, these are mums from last year. My girlfriend actually split these off from a plant she found on the side of the road into like I think like three or four different plants now and has grown these since spring and propagated them. They're doing really well. I mean for a free plant it's awesome selling these for three dollars a piece first day of these are out as well so once people start seeing this stuff and get the fall fever i'm sure this stuff will pop off very quick and i'm gonna do my late my late summer garden tour and show you guys all my butternut squash i'm growing i don't even remember planting any pumpkins but i have at least two pumpkin plants in there i think they're jack b littles a lot of tiny little pumpkins everywhere coming in really excited about that People at the stand love to pick those up. I sell them for like 50 cents to a dollar a piece. Easy money. Butternut squash. I can sell those for uh, probably a dollar for the small ones and what, like three or four bucks for the big ones. Because I have ones that are probably as big as my arm. Or like half my arm, which is huge. Uh, what else? I got acorn squash in there. I've got one cantaloupe growing as well. And peppers. Meh. You'll see. You'll see in the other video when I do my summer tour don't want to give anything too away here and that's the whole produce stand looks like it's holding up pretty well definitely got to put some more clear coat on it once the season's over but definitely worth the investment building this thing like i said it cost me a little over a hundred dollars to build this and if i take care of it put clear coat on it seal it up every year it should last me at least five years even though i used uh, regular wood and not pressure treated definitely holding up good though all right and that is the whole tour if you guys enjoyed this content, definitely consider subscribing to the Greg's Halfling family. Become one of my halflings. 
If you want to stay in the know for all my future uploads, make sure to turn on that notification bell and make sure to set the notifications on always. And of course, definitely consider giving the video a like if you liked it. And with that being said, see you guys all next adventure. Greg Bear out. Thank you.